Well, today I patched up like a tile block thing, a truck hit it. So I just came and patched it up. It's a commercial building. I'm going to show you how I did it. Well, today's job looks like a truck hit that. Something hit that. And this is like a tile block. So they want me to repair it. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Let's take a closer look at it. I actually stand in the back of the truck, see? That's how lazy I am. I don't even bring scaffolds no more. So this is all uh, tile. You don't want it perfect. You just want it fixed. So let's see what I can do. So all you want to do is make uh, some room like glass. Now here's a lesson to you. All you architects and engineers, see this? You know what this is? An angle iron. It used to be made out of metal. See it? It's all falling apart. Oh, you got to use metal. You got to use rebar. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you do. That's why the old timers built with arches. See it? Look at it. Rot it away. So we're going to get everything loose here. And then I'll talk a little bit more about it. So I'm getting everything out of the way. I got it all cleaned out as far as I want to go. See how this all rots away, this, these uh, angle irons? So I'm going to see if I can piece it in together now. So that's the pieces I got that's laying around. And I got a couple pieces, only two of them. I'm going to see if I can make them fit. This one could go up in here. That's going to fit. This one. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a mark. hard cutting we got these two ready to go in and then we got to cut these pieces out now here's what I'm doing I'm just mixing a couple trowelfuls of this rapid set so I can lay that first one and then I'll go start cutting the other ones that'll give that time to dry up so I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit only need a little bit. That's all I need. Just want to get that up in there. Put this piece in. It's getting hard already. See that? That's what I want because uh, put the other one on. Okay. I'm going to put the second one in. Put that set up for a while. Got to sit right on. That's all I got. All I got is what I got. I can't, uh, I can't make them. I only got these two corners. I'm not gonna go crazy with this. Okay. Try to sneak this in there. No big deal. Not bad. That's it. And we're just gonna do 
clean it up best we can just to make sure we got the stuff in there. That's all. Now we just get the water and the sponge go over that. Put all those things in. Well, you can go over with the sponge, you don't have to worry about it much. You can wipe it off, it's like glass blocks almost. That's it. Got that part of it done. So I cut these pieces out. And this part, I'm not going to worry about that. It's a commercial building, the owner don't care. I'm going to mix some cement and put that in. Yeah. It's been done last week. <laughs> Go there, but even though I had I had a uh, Novocaine. Like are these pieces any good for anything? Uh probably. Even this? No good? Yeah, maybe a, a small piece that'll be good for something. Okay, so we patched it up and uh what does the owner say? Awesome job, Michael. I'm going to talk about that job a little bit. Uh, that building was built in maybe the late 40s, early 50s, and it was a dairy where they processed milk and they had the milk trucks and they took it out. But that was built out of a tile block, and I'm never going to get anything at any brick or stone yard that's going to match that and what pieces he had laying around that's what we fixed that with now you're going to learn more about masonry when you're ripping stuff out than you're building new stuff because when you're ripping stuff out you see what works what last and what didn't work and what doesn't last so i always told you about metal metal and masonry this is two examples i always show you it rusts it expands and it breaks it apart Here's another one that came out of a footer, 1972, they poured the footer. We ripped it out a few years ago, it rots away. It depends on where you are. And those angle irons, here's an angle iron here, you see it? It's all rotting away. Anytime you use metal, you have to do it in such a way that uh, it's not going to get wet. Now that corner there might have got wet, but that, even if that all rotted away, the masonry by itself would hold it up. The old timers always used arches. I have a video out, it's called uh, Block Laying Part 7, where I go over steel beams and lentils, and I show you how we do it in a modern way. But those steel beams, they expand and they contract, unless they're buried inside the concrete, then they go at the same thing. But when they're on the outside and they get cold, they shrink, and then when they get hot, they expand, you always get cracks in your masonry. If you're only dealing with a two or three or four foot piece, you don't worry about it. But when you get into something like six, seven, eight feet, then you got to worry about it. I used rapid set cement. It was like 45 degrees out, and I wanted to put it in. 20 minutes later, you could go over and I could finish the whole thing up. I don't have to worry about it. It's a fast drying cement. Now, the glass blocks you've seen me, I sponged them. If it was like real brick, you got to be real careful where you don't get the cement stuck into the brick. And then I sponge it off because it's like glass. And then what I didn't film is you get a rag after oh, 20 minutes and you go over it and you get all that film off of it. So a patch is a patch, but uh, I hope you enjoy these videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. Until next video.